Hi everyone, in this video we will be discussing about the difference between mid inguinal point and midpoint of the inguinal ligament. So before discussing about all these things, we should know about what the inguinal ligament is. The inguinal ligament it is a modification of aponeurosis of external oblique muscle which is present in the abdomen. So as you know a ligament uh, connects the two bony structures. It should also connect any two bony structures. They are the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle. It extends from the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic tubercle. So coming to the differentiation of the midpoint of the inguinal ligament and the mid inguinal point. The midpoint of inguinal ligament exactly lies at the center of inguinal ligament which is extending from the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic tubercle. Coming to the mid inguinal point, uh, when you draw an imaginary horizontal line which is extending from the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic symphysis. Here the difference is the midpoint of the inguinal ligament there is the pu pubic tubercle but at the mid inguinal point we consider pubic symphysis. So when you draw an imaginary horizontal line which is extending from the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic symphysis, the center of this line is called the mid inguinal point. There the center of the inguinal ligament is called midpoint of the inguinal ligament. The center of the imaginary horizontal line which is extending from the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic symphysis is called mid inguinal point. So the significance of this uh, mid inguinal point is that it is a point of differentiation between the uh, external iliac artery and the femoral artery. When the external iliac artery just crosses the uh, mid inguinal point, it is called the femoral artery. And coming to the significance of the midpoint of the inguinal ligament, it is an important landmark for the presence of the uh, femoral nerve. Thank you.